welcome back to the channel we're going to start this one off a little bit different i'm starting it off inside the element and i just want to give you guys uh an overview after the lift um from um what is it uh, hr honda rescue <laughs> the uh i did the three inch uh lift plus the i forgot i think it was an inch or half an inch or inch and a half something like that spacers for the subframes for the engine subframe and for the rear subframe and then i also did the adjustable camber kit on the front and rear so just to give you an idea uh, after putting all this stuff on you know the alignment is going to be off real bad and i was afraid about the ride so i've been driving it for a while and some before before I got the alignment, this thing was all over the all over the road. Uh, you have to like steer it to make it somewhat go straight. So I, I had went and got the wheel alignment done. Now after the first wheel alignment, it was still a little bad, so I actually had to get it done again. And um, right now it's fine. Uh, made sure all the bolts was tight. Made sure all the wheels had the same tire pressure because that can throw things off as well and also you got to relate to your tires the sidewalls could be uh, either soft or really hard and that would cause a little problem as well so let's let me show you the first the first one uh, the paperwork on the alignment when I took it in there so this is what it was when I took it in there before any of the um, uh, work was done as you can see it was red bad like very bad and then I left after they finished now I kept telling them I have a rear camera adjust uh, adjustments uh, those the blue bars you can adjust that and the guy was like oh it's not that bad it's I mean it's you could still and it still worked just fine well I wasn't happy with that I mean it is what it is I just I just went on ahead and said all right I'll, I'll take your word for it but I knew in, a, in my heart that it wasn't right so uh, I couldn't stay longer so I had to leave so I left uh, I drove around like that for for about a week and I just I couldn't take it anymore because not not that it was kind of all not, it wasn't all over the place it was still kind of dry straight but the steering wheel was off and i was like thinking i'm why why won't you set the steering wheel straight before you make any changes uh so i drove like that for a while and i just had enough so i went back i went back and i actually got a different person and this and i went in early in the morning first thing when it opened up so it could be you know fresh and it was a different guy, a younger guy, and I guess he likes doing his job because he was like, oh man, I'm gonna I'm take care of it, I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna make any adjustments. Uh, if anything you need, uh, I will fix it. So, then I went back, and this was for the second time. Now, all the specs are pretty even, and it was just mostly the front. Now, he did fix the rear camber, and as you could tell, it's not red anymore because he was a little more in spec, uh, like one degree off, which wasn't uh, nothing and nothing at all. Uh, the toe is just a, it's just a little uh, about 0.16, which is not bad. Uh, that that's from Honda. <laughs> uh, I guess it is some type of toe adjustment, but there, as you could tell, the rear is straight, and I think that's that's normal. Uh, the front was perfectly straight. He went over and done that again. And once he done this, that made a world of difference. This and the uh, basically the toe. Uh, the camber, uh, he was trying to adjust this one to zero like he did that one. But for some reason it kept falling to the grease, which is not too bad. But as you can see here, it's not centered. And this one is a little bit off, but it's still in the green. Uh, so you want it, you want your alignment between these two. I don't know if you see that these two little 
uh, lines here. So if it's your arrow is in between those lines on everything, then you're good to go. Now, let me go back to the other one. I guess you guys probably figured out where I got it lined at already. Um, look at here, and it was way out. Um, it was past the line. All this was okay. So this, so see, as it was the same, he couldn't get it back perfect. Uh, let me see me go back. So this is the front point two, front point two, uh, point one. He, he zeroed that one out, which was awesome. Uh, the biggest thing was this right here, the the toe, which is on the old one. Well, before it was bad. Forty seven and ninety three was ridiculous and then it was uh, with inspect uh, it was inspect point point five and this one point three and he was able to do zero zero well zero and point one zero point one which is which is really good uh, caster that didn't change that much I don't know how it went from from point two to point four I don't know how that even possible because it's no adjustments um, it could have been his his machine, but uh, here's some more of the camber 0 0.7 look 0 0.1 which is really good <laughs> so anyway uh, now when I drive it the steering wheel oh shoot I'm gonna face you guys now when I'm driving the the steering wheel is straight um, and it's not all over the road so like sometimes you can let car let the steering wheel go and it will drive uh, straight or if you let it go and all of a sudden that joker just take off to the side some way and that's your alignment is off. So uh, that was that on the alignment. I recommend you have to have to have to get it done. I know it's kind of common common sense that uh, oh this going to cover part that you you know after that much work changing the 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 uh, suspension that much that it has to have the camber done on it so I'm gonna go ahead and and take off and uh, get out of here and and uh, I would show a little bit of video of driving uh, and it's not and it's not bad and I don't I'm gonna leave the radio off or I have to leave it off so I won't get copyright or anything um, and I don't think you, I don't, me personally, and everybody that roll with me said, uh, I don't hear the tires that much. I do hear wind, wind noise, but not, a, not any tire stuff. So that's, that's awesome. So uh, let's go. All right, here we go. I do have, uh, I do have some stuff in the back. So you might hear a little bit of noise from that, but otherwise it's, pretty good. Oh, they're moving off to the right a little bit. stuff on as in a suspension wise I thought that um, it was it was gonna ride pretty bad but it it actually actually don't actually, actually rides really good but the problem uh, I only drove it maybe uh, around the corner when it would just had the regular suspension on it now at high speed, I don't have a problem, but I get a little bit afraid when I when I have to make a, a turn at a higher speed because it feels like it's going to turn over. So I do keep that mindful, even though uh, Honda Rescue sent you a sticker uh, about the rollover hazard. 
which is which is really good. So I'm gonna get on the freeway, and you can see that. I mean, you can hear and see probably it's not that bad of a ride, and nothing. get off on the first exit because that's the exit I need <laughs> so we're just gonna get on and right back off I uh, wish I had somewhere to I think I have somewhere to go to take it a little bit off-road I believe I'll have to find find some video it looks like I'm going really fast but I'm only doing uh, 50 It's a wider track and it allows you to make a, a little bit of a faster turn. So this speed is at 20, which is which is not bad, but you guys fell over a little bit. <laughs>
said, I think I have a spot where we could go a little bit off road, but I don't, I mean, it's on some grass. Uh, it's not too much around here that I can, I can go. They have like this little wimpy plastic shield that goes under the bottom. I want to put a metal shield, a skid plate, uh, also one for the gas tank because the gas tank has uh, like a, a bar to protect it. But uh, I actually want like a skid plate uh, to protect it and not just the. Uh, not just relying on that ball. Alrighty, we are back at the old homestead. Uh, my battery died, so that's why you didn't see the rest of the drive there. So sorry about that. Okay, let me grab you guys here. Let's turn this off for a quick second. Um, as in a review on the uh, HRG, the Honda Engineering uh, suspension, uh, should you do it? Yes. Uh, I give it a five out of five. It was actually, it was really good putting it in. It was really easy. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, will I do it again? Hell yes. <laughs> I will definitely do it again. I already talked to some people on uh, on YouTube. They asked me why I'm selling it. Because I want to start all over. I want to do it again. I, I, I mean, I can't... It'll make no sense taking the parts off and putting them back on. That, that doesn't make sense. So I want to pass this along to somebody else. And then start a new one. And uh, go from there. Um, so this is a question you want to ask. Should you do it? If you want to lift it, element... Yeah, do it. Is it fun to drive? Yeah, it's fun to drive. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, let me. I'm trying to think all at the same time. What else? You know uh, that I could tell you to convince you. It's hey, it's good. It's it's really good. Um, but like I said, if you're gonna do it, do the whole thing. Uh, if you do well, if you do like a two inch, then you don't have to do too much. Uh, but if you go like full blown like I did yeah you want to you want to do everything um, and that's that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions about the lift or or 
you know, you have uh, wondering about what parts you should get, get, get them all. If you can, uh, order it all. If you can't, well, do a little bit at a time. Um, I did, I did the whole thing at once. Uh, only thing I didn't order from uh, 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 Honda Engineering was the uh, the uh, rear camera arms, because I got those first before I actually went online and got the uh, Honda uh, Engineering uh, uh, suspension. So I got those first, but I was gonna just send those back and get Honda uh, Engineering um, camera arms, but I didn't. So I was like, well, I would just leave it like that. But the next bill um, is gonna be include uh, all of it, uh, every last bit. I even went back on there to see anything else I can buy. Only other thing I probably suggest buying extra, you're not gonna believe this, is another sticker. <laughs> I would, I would rather have another sticker on. Uh, the rollover sticker. I have one. Let me show you guys. Uh, let's see if I can shed some light. I got that one there. But I kind of want to put another one probably right here because it was another sticker here. Now Honda does have their own sticker right here uh, for a uh, rollover because this vehicle is very top heavy. But I want to put theirs because theirs actually have uh, a lifted uh, element on it <laughs> and uh, other than that uh, that's about it I know sometimes you guys can hear my video kind of slur a little bit uh, because I, I I had accidentally locked my back tooth out and uh, I had to get that fixed but when it when it did that it kind of kind of messed up my uh, speech pediment <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, like I said thank you guys for watching so much and uh, please comment like and subscribe and uh, until then I'll see you guys later